So the prime fish traps are super easy to make. Oh. This fish trap right here is gonna be a mini Lego fish trap. Perfect. Yeah. Oh my God, what is that? See his fin right there? Oh my gosh, it's so blue. Oh my God, I feel it. What the freak is that? Is it a snake? Oh my God, what is this? Oh my gosh. Prime or Legos? First up is Prime. Ugh. Here we go, crack the seal. Ugh. Taste test. Mmm, <laughs> not bad. So the Prime fish traps are super easy to make. Oh. And you're just gonna drill a couple holes, and then one above it, just like that. As you can see, there's little holes all the way around the Prime. And then cut in between the holes. And the best part about this is, is that the holes are already pre-drilled, so you're gonna wanna put those zip ties directly through the holes you just created and pull tight. Oh! oh. So this right here is your Meta Moon Prime fish trap. Cut your excess. Wow, and she's done. And the best part about the Prime fish traps, look how much bigger the normal Prime bottles are than the Prime fish trap. That's crazy. And don't forget to watch to the end of the video because today we're gonna be building a brand new Prime secret flavor. Oh! Prime. Prime secret flavor is going in the fridge. Perfect. Hey, Raw fam, want to see a magic trick? Oh, look at that, guys. They're all done. So whatever we catch in the prime fish traps are going to go in the prime fish tank. Let's go build our Lego fish trap. So this is everything we're going to need to make our Lego fish traps. Ugh. Step one, we're going to have to rip off this little packaging. Ugh. Step two, undo the little box. Oh! Now we're gonna undo all of our bags. Here we go. Oh! So this right here is everything we're gonna need to build our Lego fish traps. Step one, we're gonna set out a bunch of Legos and outline our fish trap. All right, so this is the opening. All right, we need the gate for the door. This fish trap right here is gonna be a mini Lego fish trap. All right, let's cut off all the extra. Here you go. Perfect, perfect. Boom. So now that we have our Lego bottom cut, it's time to build the little fish trap. Wait, can you, are you guys filming? Mm -hmm. Look at this. All I have to do is also cut straight right here. And then that's also the top of the fish trap as well. All right, we just saved a lot of time. So this is the bottom, this is the top. Now we just gotta put all the Legos and make a fish trap. Boom, and it works just like that. So that right there is our first row of Legos. Just like that, that on, like that. Beautiful. So this right here is our mini Lego fish trap right there. Now, all we gotta do is add the top. Perfect. So this right here is our mini Lego fish trap equipped with a little door. But honestly, Raw Fam, there's only one big problem. <laughs> Dang it. We don't know how to attach the roof. I think I have a cool way to do it. Construction tools. <laughs> yeah, did that come in the manual for the Legos? We're gonna do that three more times. So this right here is our finished mini Lego fish trap. I don't know guys, my money is always on the Lego fish traps because we've caught some crazy stuff in these things. So this right here is our Lego fish trap. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Hey, watch this. What the? Oh my God, look how cool this is. All three of our Lego fish traps are officially done. But uh, Raw fam, where the heck are we gonna put the fish that we catch in these things? We're gonna put them inside of here, our Lego fish tank. And it's officially time to battle. We have our Meta Moon fish trap right here and we also have our Lego fish trap in my other hand. Raw fam, comment down below who you think's gonna win, Team Prime or Team Lego. All right, Raw fam, there's only one thing to do. Let the battle begin. All right, Raw fam, so we just got over to the spot and we're about to put out our Meta Moon trap, but come here. See that gar right there? He would look so good in the predator palm. Oh, I got him! I freaking got him, come here. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys, so that is the first fish of the day. He's, he's spunky, but this is what happens when you're fishing in the right spots. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my gosh. Do you smell that thing? Oh. That fish is disgusting. That is a mud fish. Usually when they smell like that, something is wrong with them. So we just got over to the pond. We just caught a little gar, but it's officially time to put out our Meta Moon fish trap. Um, inside of this little fish trap, or inside of this little prime bottle, we have a bunch of little pellets. And over here at this spot, if you guys look around, 
This spot is green, it's lively, and it's taming with predators. Honestly guys, who knows what's living in here? This is actually one of my favorite spots. Come here, we're gonna come all the way over here to the water, and underneath all of these little green things, little fish love to live there. So we're gonna put that fish trap inside of the water. And this right here is actually our prime fish tank. Everything that we catch today, we're actually going to put inside of this little tank so we can transport it over to the real prime fish tank that's actually at the Raw Fam. So it's gonna take like five or six minutes for us to actually catch a couple fish. So in the meantime, let me see if I can get a couple baits for Jaws with the cast net. For those of you guys that don't know, I actually have a largemouth bass at my house that is named Named Prime. There's actually two of them. There's Prime and then there's Jaws. We're gonna catch a couple baits for Prime and Jaws so they don't get pissed off at me because they love eating yummy treats. Oh, there's a bunch of baits right here. You ready? Boom! Got them! Oh my god, I got so many. Oh crap! <laughs> come here, come on! Oh my goodness! Look how many we got. Come here, look at them all. So this right here is a perfect bait. Oh! <laughs> Crap. There we go, guys. So that was us cast setting a bunch of baits. Whoa! Let's get back over to the Meta Moon fish trap and see what we caught. And if you guys thought that was cool, make sure you guys keep watching till the end of the video because we're gonna feed all these yummy little baits to Prime and Jaws. All right, Raw fam. So it's officially time to go off and check this Meta Moon fish trap. This right here, right? Yeah. Um. Okay. I got it. I got it, Rolf fam. Here we go, guys. What do you guys think is inside of the Meta Moon fish trap? Here we go. What the heck is that? Look, there's like a little thing. What the heck is that? It's like moving. I think it was like an insect or something. I have no idea. That was weird. It was really weird. Oh, there's something cool in there. I might have to add some more water. Watch this. Come here, guys. Come down here. There's something really freaking cool. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Watch this, guys. He might come swimming out. He's so small, guys. This is so small. Yeah. Oh my god, what is that? Look at his fin. See his fin right there? Do you see his... Oh, it just went down. Come on. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Look at this. Raw fam, look how cool this little fish is. I've never seen anything like it. Oh my gosh, it's so blue. It's so blue. Oh my gosh, it's so blue. What? Oh, man. Oh, man. what the heck is this thing? Oh my gosh, guys, comment down below what the heck this thing is. That is the coolest thing I probably ever caught, but uh, guys, fingers crossed if we catch something even cooler in today's video, but guys, it's time to go to the next freaking spot to do the Lego fish trap. So we just got over to the second spot. We have our biggest Lego fish trap right here, simply because recently we've been catching massive fish inside of this hole right here believe it or not there's water in there actually all under here is a bunch of water and believe it or not i've actually caught massive fish inside of this hole so three two one oh <laughs> all the way down to here bro screw this bro it's scary it's weird but i'm not that scared because it's not my arm going in it's actually the fish trap so hopefully whatever's living in there eats our bait and goes in the trap so just like most of the other traps we're gonna take all of our pellets pop the top come on come on oh Oh, it's gonna be a big fish. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and whatever is living inside of this hole We're gonna put our fish trap right in there. See that come around come around see if you can see this All right, and the fish trap is gone Repeat roll fam the fish trap is gone guys who knows what's living in there I'm gonna start scooping around this area because uh, if I catch some more my aquariums could really use it All right guys, so we got our little net right here. I'm gonna see if I can scoop in there because There's usually little ones burrow right there. Oh Yes, watch out watch out watch out watch out come here. Look at this babies bro babies right there. Oh Look at this Look at this. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. They're so freaking cute. So these guys are, are they dead? What's wrong with these guys? Hold on, let me get them in the water. I can't really see though, cause they're all dirty. Oh no, they're alive, they're swimming. They're alive. Sorry about that, I was so confused. I've never seen a white one before. Come on, let me see. I really wanna get a look at all these Placos 
again because they were Placos. Oh my god, look at the colors on it. That's a different type of Placo. What, that's like a, um, like a, a, a bush nose, bush nose Placo. Be, uh, I don't know, something like it. Guys, comment down below what type of Placo that is, but it has red eyes. It's albino 100%. Bro, it's 100% albino. What an ugly looking fish. Look how cool that is. That's why it's not moving because it can't see. Albino animals are like blind. Look at this, I'm gonna put it in there. Watch, it's gonna swim around. What the heck? Julian, bro, bro. Let's go. <laughs> we got a freaking two albino freaking fish. Albino. Guys, if you guys don't know, albino is just like genetics for like, it wasn't supposed to happen. So this right here is our Lego tank right here. Guys, that means the mom Placo is gonna be in the other one. And that's like the biggest fish trap I've ever made out of Lego. So I'm almost 100% sure we're gonna get the mom Placo right now. We're gonna come, oh, 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 oh. So we're gonna be catching whatever the heck is inside of this little hole in three, two, one. I'm sticking my hand inside of this hole. The opening is officially closed. I kind of felt something. I don't know if something just swam out. Yeah, no, there's nothing inside of here. Guys, I think that something just swam out of the trap, honestly. Okay. Oh my God, I feel it. I feel it. It's, it's digging. It's digging, don't, oh my God, it just bit me. Okay, I got it. I got it. It's a snake. It's a snake. That's a hundred percent. Is it a snake head? Is it a fish? Is it a fish? What the heck is this thing? Oh my, it looks like a giant fish slug. Oh my God. Oh my God, what is this? Oh my God. It's the weirdest thing. What the heck? Oh, put it in there. Let's go. What the Bro, let's go. Bro, that's crazy. Oh. Oh, guys, what the heck is that? I think I've seen videos of it before. I thought it was an eel. It doesn't look like an eel. It looks like, okay, it looks like these things that are known for burrowing into the mud, okay? I didn't feel it inside the trap. I felt it on the outside of the trap. It touched me. This fish is known for living in the mud. It wouldn't live out in the middle. It would live underneath the ground in the mud. I think it's a lungfish. Look at this. Look at him, he's so slimy. Look at him, oh my gosh. Look at his little, look at his little arms. He has like little arms and feet. Guys, is that not the weirdest fish you've ever seen? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Bro, let's go. So that right there was our giant uh, Lego fish trap right here, all fam. Look at that thing. Holy crap. What the heck is that thing? Oh my goodness, look at his face. Guys, that's 100% about to be one of our pets and it's gonna live at the Raw Fam. Raw Fam, I think it's time to do the next prime fish trap. All right, Raw Fam, so we just got over to Blakey's house. What's up, Blake? What's going on? There's a ton of fish in here, bro. Good luck. Oh yeah, so uh, I already talked to Blake and whatever I catch out of here, I'm allowed to keep. We got our little prime fish trap. Wait, we forgot the bait, bro. Can you grab the bait? Yeah, hurry up, that was your job. Come on, let's go. Thank you, Jesus, thank you so much. All right, guys, pop the top. All right, and now put all of your little pellets inside of there. Blake, where should I put the trap? Bro, this thing is stacked, so stacked. literally anywhere you put it, you're gonna get one. I'm gonna put it, oh my God, it's so deep. Oh, it's really deep, right here. Look, there's a koi, there's a koi. Come here, guys, look look right here. See the koi? Right there is a koi, there's a koi. Okay, okay, Blake, I'm sleeping on Blake's pond. I'm gonna put it right here. You guys see the prime trap right yep. there? That is perfecto. So we're really not gonna wait at all for this. This is there's like a but look, there's a freaking koi right there. Brother, everywhere. Like, there's so many fish in here. We do not really have to wait. But an arapaima tank, the world's largest freshwater fish. Blake, where is it at? It's in the building. Let's right. go check it out. Let's go look at it. It's freaking insane. All right, guys. So this is also another pond at Blake's house that we could actually go. What the heck is that thing? It's a hippo. Oh my God, it's a little hippo. What the heck? And guys, there's a bunch of little cichlids inside of this pond as well. Look at that little placo right there. You guys ready? Three, two, I got him. There you go. There oh go. my God. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, relax, relax. <laughs> hey, hi, how are you? Whoa. <laughs> guys. That was pretty cool. Ralphim, come on this way. Guys, this is Blake's exotic animal ranch. And this is his brand new pond. Look at that fish! Oh 
my gosh, he's perfect. Oh my gosh. Look at the arapaima down there, bro. That is the world's biggest freshwater fish in the entire world. And look at the sharks. Look at the sharks roll, fam. So this right here is at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. This is totally epic. Oh my gosh. Look how cool he is. Hello, buddy. Hi. Insane, bro. <laughs> Insane. Did you guys see that fish? That thing was a monster. But guys, it's officially time to check. Look, there's more koi right there. There's two koi right there, three koi right there. Like if I had a dip net, oh, they would be mine, Blake, mine. All right, guys, so we just saw a massive arapaima, some sharks, some catfish. Yeah, All right, here we go. All right, guys, here we go. Where's the pliers? Come on, where's the pliers? Right here. Thank you. All right, guys, we're going to open up this fish trap because the last one, it got stuck. All right. Yeah, I think there's something in there. You see something? I think so. You see something? All right, guys, three. Two. What the heck? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Play! Head out. What the heck? Bro, I didn't even know oh. I had that inside there. Whoa! Oh my <laughs> gosh! This was the original cichlids that we had put in here Long like two ago. years ago. Yeah, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, we yeah. put cichlids inside of this pond like this big. But guys, watch out! I don't want him to die. All right, look at this. Look at this. There you go. Guys, look at that beautiful orange head with the blue body next. To this beautiful little like blue cichlid thank you so much that was epic we have three more fish traps to set but we got to go back to the raw fam first so i'll see you over there we have all of our little fishies that are going to go inside of the prime tank but we also have a couple feeder fish that we got for jaws and prime so first off we're going to come over here we got a couple beautiful little fishies we have this crazy looking cichlid thing that we got from our buddy blake here Wow, crazy. Bro, that's epic. And then we got this epic little spunky guy. Completely lively, look at that little guy. I'm gonna put this guy also in here. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Bro, that's epic. So far we've done three fish traps and all of them have been a success. Throughout doing those fish traps, we also caught a couple little baits just like that. And um, if you guys don't know, uh, this is like our bonding lesson. I have two fish in here. One is Prime, the bass right under me, and then Jaws is the other one. Prime loves the jump. I'm gonna hold this one a little higher. Come on, who's gonna- Oh my God, Jaws came after me. So that was Jaws, hey. And we have a couple other little baits right here. Right here, Jaws. Oh! <laughs> Bro, it never gets old. And then the last three baits we got right here, these little guys right there are just gonna go to whoever wants them. Oh! Freak. <laughs> All right, Prime, come on, Prime. Come on, let's go right here. That's you, Prime. Oh, that was Jaws. No, that was Jaws. So I guess we're gonna have to give this to my Asian water monitor, but guys, the time's ticking, so guys, keep watching, and a little bit later on, I will feed this little bluegill right here. My monitor will be able to get eight foot long one day, and uh, we're about to feed him this whole fish. So it's officially time to put all of the other fish inside of the Lego fish tank. This right here is my Lego fish tank. And we have a couple crazy looking critters that are going to go into this fish tank. Now look at it, this thing looks like a giant axolotl. Time for our fish to go in. Watch this guys. Oh my God, he like slithered in. That thing is so freaking cool. Now watch this, ready? Look at these little placos. One. Two, three, and fourth one right there, albino placo. So cool. Guys, this is so sick. Oh my God. So we're all fam, this was obviously three of our first traps. Now it's time to go off and do yeah. two more Lego fish traps and one more prime fish trap. So what are we doing here? Let's go set them. Oh my goodness, look at him. Guys, I'm gonna give you guys an update on our beautiful snapping turtle, we're all fam. This guy is a crazy apex predator, and his name is Godzilla. This thing can get 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds one day. This guy is a monster in the making. Wow, what a cool looking guy. We actually caught him in a fish trap not too long ago, so who knows what the heck we're gonna catch in the rest of the video, so keep watching. Hi, Raw Fam, so we just got over here, and um, we have our Lego fish trap right here, and we have our prime pellets right here, and we're actually gonna be... Look at this. What is that thing? Is that a crab? Look at this thing. 
Oh, it's a freshwater crab. Look at this thing, or maybe a saltwater brackish. I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Dude, that's the coolest thing we've caught today. What the heck? But what fish trap does it go into? Wait, cause like we were about to do the Lego fish trap. Does that mean he goes inside the Lego tank? Yeah. So we were about to do a Lego fish trap and these guys actually breathe air and they can also go in water. Watch that. Hi buddy. Oh, it's so cool. What the heck? So guys, this, we, we just caught a crab. Um, that, that's like cheating because we didn't even set the trap yet, but okay. Look, look, there's largemouth bass right there. You see them? Yeah. Look, look at the baby jaws right there. There's three of them right there. Ooh. And now uh, we gotta make sure that's open. Right here. I used to actually set all my fish traps right here. All right, ready? I'm gonna set it under all of these weeds right here. Perfect, you see that? Yeah. that look good? Looks perfect to me. We're just gonna run over to the next spot, set two more fish traps, and then we're gonna come back, check this one. So let's go set two more fish traps. And we just got over to the final spot. We're over at my buddy Austin's house, and recently we actually caught a bunch of baby red tails underneath this dock. Me and my friends are all in the aquarium trade, and we've released hundreds of different types of little like exotic fish inside of this little spot. So guys, who knows what's lurking in there? We're gonna go right underneath this spot again just like we did last time. We're gonna take a little bit of pellets, put it right in there, perfect. And then we're gonna stick this all the way down there, just like that. Can you see, can you reach in there? Can you look? There's a bunch of like debris and stuff in there. So if you guys look right there, that is literally like the perfect spot for a little red tail to actually go down there. Last time, whenever we did the trap, I will say this, the water was much higher. All right guys, and then next up is the Lego fish trap. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, pour it in there. See that? Look, look at the there. Lego fish trap right here. See it? Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Yeah, I'm about to catch all your baby red tails, bro. All right, guys, but we do have a bunch of little fishies that I gave Austin recently. Yeah. So we're gonna give you guys an update on that real quick. Let's do and it. then we're gonna come back and check the trap. Look at this. Come on, come on, give me kisses. Oh, he's kissing me. Guys, so all of the fish that we have over here are so much more trained than last time we were here. These guys are so cute. Look at Austin's hand. Oh, oh, here we go. Look at it. Oh, they're so trained. It's like a full mouth. They're so trained. Oh, look, look. You see that? Look at the tiger shovel noses. There's hybrids right there. You see the hybrids? No, not my finger, Mr. Koi. Look at the hybrid right there. See the hybrids? Yeah. The hybrid is actually one of the fish that we brought over here and we gave to my buddy Austin. I mean, what a cool little update. These fish look freaking awesome. There's just so many different fish and they came up and they kissed my little fingies. Let me see if I can do it again. Love me my fish, you know? Come on. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he give me loving. I'll give you some scratches. Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. All right, Raw Fam, like I said, it's not gonna take long. Let's go under that dock, see what's popping. All right, Raw Fam, come on. All right, guys, so this is the aquarium that we're gonna be putting it in, and now, oh, it floated away. Oh, what the heck? Oh my God, oh my God. Godzilla's back. Wait, hold on, hold on, Godzilla's back. Oh my God, he just tried to attack me, oh! He just tried to attack me. Look at that Big monster. boy. Guys, I stuck my hand down there and he tried to get me. All right. Ugh. Guys, we have a baby Godzilla at the Raw Fam. I stuck my hand there and I, all I heard was this. And I, I thought I lost the finger for a second, but Raw Fam, let's see what is in our fish trap. Come on, something cool, please. Oh, I see something. Yeah, I don't know what. Oh, it's a clown knife fish. What? Look at that. Oh. What the heck is this thing? What the heck? Hold on, let me get it in the bucket. It's like fluorescent. That's the weirdest fish I've ever seen in my whole life. Did you put this in the aquarium, bro? I didn't put anything like that in here. What the heck? It's, it's like a, a clown knife fish hybrid. It's a mutation. Okay. Yeah, it looks like an iridescent shark and then mixed a with a clown. Yeah. But I have a feeling, guys. Guys, comment down below if this is actually something. Maybe there's some other fish in here that bred as well. Dude, is it insane. is breeding season. All of my koi fish in my pond are trying to breed right now. But guys, comment down below what the heck this thing is. Oh, so grab the turtle. He's right here. Look at him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. All right, guys. So <clears throat> he's back. I wanted to show you guys how cool this guy is because Godzilla will actually turn into this guy. We'll grab him, Austin, grab him. Austin, grab him, help me. Help me. 
Oh. Austin, make sure that he doesn't go over there because I put my hand over there. He's gonna freaking. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. So I gotta keep eye. Godzilla over here. Oh, oh. You're not doing a very good job. He's literally right here. He's right there. Dude, there is no way. All right, guys. So I put my hand over the trap. Let's see what we got. We'll dump it in the same little bin. I feel something in here moving around. You feeling this for me? Yeah. Are you ready? Come on. Oh! What is that thing? Knife. Dude, is that a sh tiger shovel knife? No, that's not what they look like, is it? Poke it up it? Oh my, God. no it is. It is, a, it, I, I didn't think because of the red. That thing's gorgeous. It's a baby tiger shovel nose. Oh. Dude. I don't even know what the heck this thing is. I mean, bro, we threw a couple hundred That's fish insane. in here and it's just going off. So guys, comment down below what fish trap you think did the best hold that for them. Let's get this guy over to their proper homes. And uh, I believe we have one more fish trap to check. So let's go check that thing and go back to the Rolf fam. Yes, sir. So finally, Rolf fam, the final Final trap. I can't even see this trap. I think it's right here. Oh, let me close the door. Here we go. Pull that off. And this right here is the Lego fish trap, guys. Ugh, that we needed. Anything in there? Oh, yes. Definitely. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Oh, two of them. Guys, look at this. This is so sick. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Look at their eyes. They have like different colored eyes. One has like all black eyes right there. And then the other one, just so beautiful. Guys, what should we name this little duo right here? This is so freaking epic, guys. I don't want them to die. They've been in that trap for a really long time. So this goes in the Lego side. They go in here. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum. Wow, look at that, Rolf fam. Guys, that is the last of all of the Lego fish traps. It's officially time to get back to the Rolf fam and compare apples to oranges and find out officially what's better, a prime fish trap or a Lego fish trap. It's all gonna happen right now. So we're over here at the Lego tank and it's officially time to add all of our little fishies. All right, guys, I need your guys' help in the comment section below. Who won? Here we go. Look at those fish, guys. Wow, what a beautiful looking fish. And then the crab, look at the crab. I think the outliers for this fish trap is gonna be all of the little fish and animals that we caught outsides of the traps. Oh my gosh, look at this little, look at this little like, oh, hey, there he goes. This little crazy shovel nose looking thing. So we have more prime than we know what to do with. The prime fish traps obviously worked and we caught some really, Crazy looking fish, Rolf fam. But honestly, Rolf fam, it's finally time to let you guys in on a little secret. It's not gonna be up to me whether or not the Lego fish trap or the prime fish trap was the best. And it certainly isn't gonna be my camera guy, Julian. Sorry, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> it's gonna be up to you guys, the Rolf fam. So, guys, go down below to the community tab and, guys, just click on the poll. Do you guys think that the Lego fish trap was the best for today's challenge, or do you guys think that the prime fish trap was the best for today's challenge? Guys, whatever wins we will actually go off and we will make giant versions of whatever that was we'll make giant lego fish traps we'll make giant prime fish traps but it's going to be up to you guys to pick so uh guys come here we have this one fish that we're still having to put inside of here look at that wow look at that weird looking fish and then we also got that little cichlid right there just so cool and then look way down there look at that little thing i actually looked it up on my phone and i think it's called a jack dempsey something really cool like that guys i personally love the prime fish traps guys while we were also doing a prime fish trap remember the jaws feeding was attached to the prime fish trap because we caught all the bait for jaws while we were waiting on that fish trap. I believe that was the Meta Moon fish trap to be exact. But all right, Raw fam, that's gonna be wrapping it up. I did promise you guys that we would feed Shadow. See, Raw fam, this bait is way too small for jaws. Come on, jaws. Oh, 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 I lied. I lied, I take everything back. Jaws is a savage. But this is for my little monitor, Shadow. Let's go feed him. Hey, Shadow, wake up. Hey, come on. <gasps> oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, oh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> mm. There's some good bluegill. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Franklin. But it's officially time to try our prime secret flavor roll, fam. And you guys won. You ready? Three, two, one. It's time to try the new prime secret flavor. 
Mmm. Oh my god. I might be biased, but I think this is the best secret flavor we've ever made just because I love the grape flavor. Oh! 10 out of 10. They should probably make this a real flavor. Uh, let's see if Jaws wants some. Hey, Jaws. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I think, he, think he may have liked it. I, I really don't know what that was. If you guys think that Team Prime won, guys, go to the community tab and vote for Prime. Or if you guys think that the Lego team won, guys, go and vote for your team. Guys, we got to get 25,000 votes on that thing. And whatever wins, we're going to make a giant version of the winner. Raw fam, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I think it's time to wrap this video up. I love you, Raw fam. We'll see you later. Bye!